In this video, I want to test out the various microphones for my GoPro Hero 10, including the built-in microphone, which is what you're hearing right now. All the settings that I'm using are down below in the description. The audio you're hearing is going to be straight from the raw audio file, not the audio embedded in the video. So it's going to be the audio file, to DaVinci Resolve, rendered out to YouTube, that is it. The camera is one arm's length away from me, and I'm gonna keep it there for each microphone so you can hear the different levels. Now, this is the built-in front microphone on the GoPro Hero 10. Now, I've applied the Wind Slayer to my GoPro Hero 10. I like to use this over the wind reduction option in the GoPros. I just think that does awful things to the audio. So again, this is with the Wind Slayer. Unfortunately, it's a very light breeze out here, so we really can't test the actual effects of the Wind Slayer. I'll probably do that in another video. And now you're listening to the audio from the front microphone of the GoPro Media Mod. Now, to be honest, this is not one of my favorite microphones. Whenever possible, I prefer to use a secondary microphone. Real quickly, you're now listening to the audio through the windscreen on the media mod. But again, it's only a light breeze out here and not really a good test for a windscreen. Now I'm testing the Rode Video Micro. It's a great compact microphone. I have one problem with it. The dead cat. If you put it on top, it's going to be in frame. Now, I could put it on the side and there's less of it in frame, but it's still in frame. One option to the big dead cat is these little cheap foam covers you can buy off Amazon and cut them to fit the microphone exactly. And this is how I've been using this microphone for the past few years. And now we're listening to the audio through the Rode Video Micro with the foam windscreen. As you can see, it's not in frame, which is great. I've been using this microphone for about three years. And for the past three years, I have not been using the dead cat. I've been using the foam windscreen. It's just a lot more practical. And for any of you out there that have this microphone, I honestly recommend this. Now you're listening to audio through the Movo VXR 3000. It's a very compact stereo microphone. And it's not the best stereo microphone on the market, to be honest. But it is so small, so lightweight. And guess what? You don't see the dead cat in frame. I personally really like this little microphone. Again, not the best thing ever, but it's cheap and it's very portable. And there's something to be said about that. And now you listen to audio through the Ceramonic XM1 omnidirectional microphone. And you're probably noticing that the audio levels are a lot lower. Well, unfortunately, due to the design of this microphone and the position of the audio jack being on the back of the media mod, it puts the microphone in a less than favorable position for recording audio if you're vlogging. And the last microphone is a Power DeWise lavalier microphone. Now, I personally don't use lavaliers much just because the way I work, you know, what I'm doing, my activity level, I don't like a cord between me and the camera. And at this time, I have not yet purchased a wireless lavalier. When I do, if I do, I will definitely test it out. And that was it for my test. I'm curious which microphone you prefer. For me, I prefer the built-in mic with the Wind Slayer. And if I have to use an external mic, then it would probably be the Movo. And that's my personal preference. I'm sure other people out there have their own opinions, and that's perfectly fine. We don't have to agree on everything. Well, it's getting kind of late. Time for me to head in. Thanks for tuning in. If you found this video useful, well, cool. You know what? I'm going to be the first YouTuber to say this, I think. Don't subscribe. Don't like and share. Um, but do comment, actually. I like interacting with people. But I really don't give a shit if you subscribe or not. So uh, I'll be the first one. Don't smash that subscribe button. Don't smash that like button or something. I don't know. I don't give a shit. Anyways. Thanks for tuning in, and I'll see you again next time.